Today's apologist claim, DNA is evidence for God. This is my favorite variant of the argument from design claim popular with creationists. The basic idea is that because DNA resembles computer code, and intelligent humans create computer codes, therefore DNA must have been created by an intelligence, which is God. One way to explore the validity of this claim is to examine other examples of observed phenomena in nature that resemble things humans do using their intelligence, and see if it's justified to claim they were also created by an intelligence. For instance, we observe lightning strikes occurring in nature, and we humans generate electricity to power our devices. Should we therefore conclude that because we use our intelligence to generate electricity, lightning must have been created by an intelligence? We also observe lava pouring out of volcanoes, and we smelt ore, so should we conclude that molten rock must have been created by an intelligence? There are examples everywhere. Crystals can form perfectly straight lines, and we build things with perfectly straight lines. So is that evidence that crystals must have been created by an intelligence? The answer to all these examples is, of course, no. Lightning began automatically when the Earth's atmosphere built up sufficiently to form clouds with opposing charges. Lava began automatically when subterranean rocks were exposed to high enough temperatures and ejected through the Earth's crust. Crystals began to form automatically when certain liquids cooled or evaporated and the molecules hardened in a repeating pattern. There's no evidence that any of these phenomena began with any intelligence whatsoever. They were the inevitable results of natural processes. And there is no evidence that DNA is any different. While it's true that researchers haven't yet managed to create DNA naturally, they have already proven that under the right conditions, the basic chemistry of newly formed planets automatically forms into the basic building blocks of life. Simple chemicals become complex molecules, which become complex organic molecules, which become ribonucleotides, which become RNA, which is structurally nearly identical to DNA and happens to be the basis for the simplest forms of life on Earth. So we already have most of the steps evident in the formation of DNA, again without any indication that intelligence is necessary for the process to occur. But even if we didn't have all this evidence supporting the notion that DNA evolved on its own, not having evidence for one explanation is not evidence for another explanation being true. A few hundred years ago, nobody had a clue how lightning, lava, or crystals could occur naturally, much less how they first appeared, Yet was that evidence for the intelligent gods they assumed caused them to occur? Of course not. Those people from a few hundred years ago simply lacked the knowledge to explain those phenomena, just as we still lack some of the knowledge to explain the origin of DNA. That current lack of knowledge is not evidence for an intelligent origin for DNA, just as lightning resembling human-created electricity is not evidence that lightning had an intelligent creator. The DNA is code argument is nothing more than an argument from ignorance fallacy, since it essentially says, I don't understand how nature could create this on its own, therefore God did it. The same reasoning is used for all other arguments from design, and an argument based on fallacious reasoning isn't a valid argument at all. <laughs>